Hello, I'm going to do a tutorial about um, using quizzes and forms in Frog. So I'm just going to go into an area where I can make a dummy form. Um, so I'm going to go into the ICT drafts folder. I'm going to DB. So you just need to find somewhere where you can do it. So I'm going to create a new um, new folder and call it demo form um, slash quiz. Now with Frog you use quizzes and forms as the same thing. It's just a method of asking questions basically. Um, so I'm going to go in here and put into a new Frog page. File, Frog page, web page. And here I'm going to do um, Olympics test. Create the page, click on it once, and then edit document. So here we have a completely blank page, um, and all I'm going to do in this page is I'm going to give it a heading, like so, and in that heading I'm just going to call it Olympic Demo. I'm going to set the alignment to center. This is on the advanced tab here, um, and the font size to double XL. And click on OK. So what I'm going to do now is um, create the form. So I'm on the forms tab across um, the bricks up here, and in the forms tab, the first one is the one that you want. And you just want to drag that down um, and put it onto here. So I'm going to just call that Olympic Quiz. But I'm going to spell it correctly um, and click on OK. Um, so the document on submit is not sub is not set. So we're going to go and do that first. This is a sort of thing to understand about quizzes. What happens is when the person clicks submit on their quiz, they have to go to another document. So we're going to create that now um, so that we understand what's going on. So I'm just going to publish and exit this for this page here and I'm going to go and create a whole new page in the same folder just a simple web page and it's going to be called um, Olympic Quiz um, what do we call it? Olympic Quiz Thank You um, with a K in it OK and click on OK so um, that just hasn't got anything in it at the moment um, and I'm going to leave it just as it is and go back and finish that later um, right now I'm going to go back into the Olympic test actual quiz page so if you open that up again and you can see the document on submit is not set so I'm going to double click this and then document on submit so I click on the three button the three um, dot button for browsing and I am going to go into um, my uh, form folder um, what did I call it? I don't remember Oh, it was in DB, wasn't it? Oh, demo form quiz, there it is. And there's the thank you. And click on OK. Um, and that's that. Right, you can see that's now done. Now, the, ne the next thing I'm going to do is back on the forms, I'm going to put a submit button onto my quiz. So inside the quiz box, in the form box, sorry, I'm going to drop submit. And that's all I've done so far. So all I've done is I have no questions, just a submit button. Let's go and preview this and you see it's just got the heading and the submit button there. Right, so now I need to ask some questions. Um, so uh, let's go through these. The first question I'm going to ask is a radio set. Now this is one of the most complicated, which is why I'm getting out of the way first, because it's also the one that marks your work. So I'm just going to drag the radio set into this button here, and the label I'm going to give it is 100 meters. I'm going to click on OK. Um, and you can see that that's a bit weird. Nothing has actually happened yet. So I'm going to double click it again and I get a whole different box. Um, and this box allows me to give answers to that question. So um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, bolt and I don't know who won it yet. So I'm going to put a zero. I'm going to say your same bolt lost. Um, Tyson Gay, I'm going to say he lost as well. Um, um, Powell, and I'm going to put a value in here. I'm going to say ask for Powell 1. 
uh, and that's that. So all you can see, and if I want to change the order, I can move them up and down here, and I can go and delete them if I've done them wrong. But it's important that you give them a value score um, of which is right and which is wrong. So I click on OK here. So you can see now that pulling in that one radio button, radio set is one question, and I set the different answers here. Let's preview that and the preview just looks like that so someone will come along and they would click and they would submit like so and then that's the thank you page which is empty um, right so that's the radio set so you just keep building those up with simple multiple choice questions with as many answers as you like um, let's try the checkbox now so we pull the checkbox in label name let's do 200 meters Um, and now you can see here um, is that this isn't really much help to us, is it? Because it's just 200 meters and one checkbox. So this is like someone saying, "Yes, I've done this." No, I haven't. Um, so you have to go and, if you wanted to do, say your favourite sport, um, you'd have to go and put in several of these, and you put in 400 meters, and you go and put in above there. I'm going to put in um, 100 meters. You'll see what I'm going to do to make sense of these checkboxes in a moment. So, um, because of that, I'm going to go back to because these don't really make sense because I haven't asked a question. I'm going to they're just like answers. I'm going to pull in a text and bridge pictures blog, and double click here and just ask which is your favourite. so and click on OK. Now you can see this all looks a little clunky and it doesn't sit very well. In the, in the wider form brick I'm just going to open that the alignment here I'm just going to go and center it or left align it like this and click on OK and you can see now everything is aligned down the left hand side so if you're doing a little quiz in um, you might want to put this into a different kind of structure. If I just pull in um, a two column structure say um, I want to put it there. There we go. And then I can take the whole form brick and just pop it inside the first column. And in there, I'll go and put a picture of the Olympics or something like that. Um, and I'm going to edit uh, this label and to something more sensible. Um, so you can see you've got which track races do you like. Um, if you want to just format this a little bit, so you just go and change it. Um, you, you know sort of the quicker the better really so I'm going to go and put that in bold and click on OK um, and you can see that kind of sets apart here uh, the 100 meters one you can see it's not really a question um, so I'm going to have to go and change um, the, the name of this to no, I'm going to have to go and change I can't change the name anymore I can only change the label but the label is what is displaying I'll click on OK and that's that so we have two types of questions there. We've used the form brick, the submit brick, um, the radio buttons, and the checkboxes. And that'll do for now.